Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the accounting for income tax. So what is the difference between accounting income and taxable income? So why is it there's a difference between accounting income and taxable income? So when I say accounting income or financial income, it is the net income for the period before deducting income tax expense. And this is the income appearing on the traditional income statement and computed in accordance with accounting standards. While taxable income, it is the income for the period determined in accordance with the rules established by the taxation authorities upon which income taxes are payable or recoverable. Taxable income is the income appearing in the income tax return and computed in accordance with the income tax law. So, uh, the most difference between accounting income and the taxable income is the basis of the reporting. Accounting income is based or in accordance with the relative accounting standards. So, natay mga ginatawag na revenue and expense are. Uh, recognition principles so moto ang ginafollow sa accounting income and that income is shown is what is shown on your financial statements particularly sa income statement well taxable income this is in accordance with the income tax law so normally accounting standards and tax income tax law are somehow different kay na sila yung mga principles nga wala sa isa or is not followed with the other uh, law. So, muna magkalahi yun ang taxable income at saka accounting income. So, the differences between the accounting and taxable income are classified into two. We have permanent differences and temporary differences. So, katodong uh, ligas sa accounting o taxable income may be due to this following differences. The permanent at saka temporary differences. So, what do you mean by permanent differences? So, permanent differences from the word itself, permanent, that could be it uh, available sa isa ka income, type of income, but will never be included in the computation of the other type of income. Like, say, for example, income siya sa, sa based on accounting standard, but for a tax purposes, dili siya income or dili siya taxable. Okay? So, that is permanent difference or permanent differences. So, permanent differences do not give rise to any deferred tax asset and liability because they don't have future tax consequence. So, ang effect ani sa permanent differences is that it will not give rise to any deferred tax asset and liability. So, here in uh, accounting for income tax, we are dealing with the deferred tax asset and liability. So, uh, i-determine na to, kung pila to i-recognize kay deferred tax asset and deferred tax liability. But for permanent differences, if we will uh, identify any permanent differences, it will not give rise or it will not uh, recognize any deferred tax asset and liabilities. So, examples of uh, permanent differences, we have interest income on deposits. So, kanin siya, income siya, okay, uh, recognizable siya as income under accounting standard. Kaya, apil man siya sa revenue income revenue recognition principle but for tax purposes it is not included in computing the taxable income though it is considered as income but there is a separate computation of interest income on deposit because interest income on deposit is classified as a passive income and passive income has a different or a separate uh, tax which is known as a final tax subject to 10% Nga, final tax. Same with dividends received. So, if uh, nakai dividends ka na receive, that will not be included as part of your taxable income because, again, it is still classified as a uh, passive income. So, final tax na siya nga 10%. Next, life insurance premium. So, life insurance premium, this is an expense. So, money itong gibayaran ni entity 
na mga premium expenses or insurance expenses. But, this will be considered as a permanent difference if the entity is the beneficiary of this life insurance. Okay? So, kani siya, it is uh, deductible as an expense based on the accounting standard like sa expense recognition principle. Uh, uh, ano siya? Kanang expense siya. But for uh, tax purposes, dili siya pwede i-claim as a deduction. Next is tax penalty, surcharges, and fines are non-deductible for tax purposes. So, dili siya pwede. Okay? So, dili ni mo siya i-deduct as an expense. Ang tax penalty, surcharges, and fines. But, for accounting purposes, since these are expenses, so pwede siya ma-recognize as an expense. So, those are the permanent differences. Next, temporary differences. So, temporary differences are differences between the carrying amount of an asset or liability and its tax base. So, kuan daw ka ng temporary. From the word itself, temporary. So, for the meantime, uh, sa accounting, okay, for the meantime, like say for example, sa accounting, for accounting purposes, recognizable na siya, but for tax purposes, delay pa. Kay probably, in the future pa na siya, pwede ma-recognize for tax purposes. So, mo na siya ang characteristics sa temporary differences. So, kanus aman mag, ano, uh, Kanus a nga na ay temporary difference. That is when the carrying amount of the asset or liability is different from the tax base. So, lahi ang yahang tax base. Temporary differences also may include timing difference. Like say, for example, uh, for income. Sa accounting, income na to, income na siya. But for tax purposes, sa pagkakaroon, dili pa. Kay in the future pa na siya, pwede ma-recognize as income. Like say, for example, cash basis. Okay? Or ka ng accrual na to. Sa, account, uh, sa accounting, we follow accrual basis. So, maski pag delete ni mo na siya, makolekta pa, if that income is already earned, income na yun mo siya. Unlike sa tax purposes or sa taxation, mag follow sila o cash base. So, meaning to say, the timing of the recognition of the income is when the collection happened. So, maski pag uh, na-earn na ni mo siyang income and then wala pa'y collection, then dili pa siya income for tax purposes. Okay? So, inana siya. That is timing difference. So, timing differences are differences between accounting income and taxable income that originate in one period and reverse in one or more subsequent period. So, kaning timing difference in the future, pwede siya ma-reverse. Like say, for example, sa accounting income, income na siya karon. But for tax purposes, for the current period, dili pa siya income. When will this income or when will this revenue be uh, considered as taxable? Maybe after uh, two years pa. So, after two years, siya ka pa lang siya or ma-reverse na siya and it will be included na in the taxable income. Timing differences are items of income and expenses which are included in both accounting income and taxable income but at different time periods. So, this is the difference between a temporary difference at saka permanent difference. Kaya ang temporary difference included siya as part of the accounting income and taxable income but okay na ay but dili lang sila pareha og period dili lang sila pareha og time period but for permanent it will not be okay if tempor uh, permanent difference siya it will not be included for both accounting income or taxable income okay so that is temporary difference Okay, so these are the different kinds of temporary differences. We have taxable temporary difference and deductible temporary difference. And each one of them may result into a deferred tax asset or a liability. 
So, taxable temporary difference is a temporary difference that will result into a future taxable amount. So, meaning to say, in the current year, it is not yet taxable, but in the future, may be taxable. So, that's the meaning of future taxable amount. And therefore, there will be, uh, this will result into a deferred tax liability. Why? It's because taxable man siya in the future. So, in the future, there will be a liability that the entity will pay taxes on that. Okay? So, th that's why deferred tax liability siya. Yeah. When we say deductible temporary difference, it is a temporary difference that will result into a future deductible amount in determining taxable income for of future periods. So, when we say a uh, future deductible amount, uh, in the future, pwede siya madedak or pwede siya makonsider as expense, okay? Expense in computing your taxable income in the future. Or shall I say, uh, sa pagkakaroon, ano no, sa pagkakaroon, dili pa siya makonsidered as expense for tax purposes, but in the future, pwede na siya makonsidered as tax, uh, pwede na siya makonsidered as an expense for tax uh, in computing the taxable income. So, that is future deductible amount. Okay? So, <clears throat> and that deductible temporary difference will, will result into a deferred tax asset. Again, taxable temporary difference, deferred tax liability. Deductible temporary difference, deferred tax asset. Okay. So, Let's have first the deferred tax liability. So, deferred tax liability is the amount of income tax payable in the future with respect to a taxable temporary difference. So, again, deferred tax liability results from a taxable temporary difference. So, what are the scenarios or uh, examples that will result into a deferred tax liability or these are considered as taxable temporary difference. Okay, so kani sila na tayo tulo ka book, no? Tulo ka cases that will uh, result into a taxable temporary difference. Okay, first, when the accounting income is higher than the taxable income because of timing difference. So, when we compare the accounting income and taxable income, mas dako ang accounting income compared sa taxable income. So, pag inana, that is a taxable temporary difference. So, pag taxable temporary difference, deferred tax liability, imuhang i-recognize. Another, when the carrying amount of an asset is higher than the tax base. So, i-compare na to ang asset sa asset na part class. Kung ang iyahang carrying amount is mas dako compared sa iyahang tax base sa asset, then there is a taxable temporary difference resulting to a deferred tax liability. Okay? On the other hand, sa liability pod, the carrying amount of the liability is lower than the tax base. Again, ang carrying amount daw sa liability mas gamay kampara sa tax base. Meaning to say, ang mas dako kay ang tax base. Sa asset, mas dako ang carrying amount kaysa sa tax base. Sa liability, mas dako ang tax base kaysa sa uh, carrying amount. Okay? Okay. On the other hand, deferred tax asset a deferred tax asset is the amount of income tax recoverable in the future periods with respect to deductible temporary difference and operating loss carry forward. So, a uh, deferred tax asset will give rise from a or will arise from a uh, deductible temporary difference and operating loss carried forward. So, examples of deductible temporary difference that is when the taxable income is higher than the accounting income because of timing differences. So, kung deferred tax liability, mas dako ang uh, accounting income kaysa sa taxable income. On the other hand, pag deferred tax asset baliktad, 
mas dako ang taxable income kaysa sa accounting income. Okay? Another, for the asset, karon mas dako ang uh, tax base sa asset compared to carrying amount. For liability, mas gamay ang tax base sa liability compared sa carrying amount. So, with these cases, it will result into a deferred tax asset. Okay? So, i-take note ninyo na siya, ha? Okay. So, darita, kanos aman ang accounting income higher than the taxable income that will result into a deferred tax liability. So, accounting income is will be higher than the taxable income when there are revenues and gains that are included in the accounting income in the current period but are taxable in the future period. Okay, example. Kanang mga accrued income na to. So, accrued income sa accounting, it is already recognized as income even if wala tay, I don't know, wala pay collection. But uh, at some point, sa taxable or for taxation purposes, dili niya or wala siya gina-recognize nga receivable or wala siya gina-recognize nga accrued income kay tungod cash basis man kasagaran si taxation. So, ang kay taxation, since wala pa may collection nga nahitabo sa kanang accrued income ni mo, so dilipad siya taxable for the current period. But could be taxable in the future period kung kanus ama makolekta ang katong accrued income. Same with expenses and losses. Expenses and losses uh, are deductible for tax purposes in the current period but deductible siya for accounting purposes in the future period. So, for accounting, diba, we follow uh, accrual basis. So, for expenses, we will only recognize uh, expenses when incurred regardless of when paid. So, basta kung ma-incur na ni mga expenses, expense na siya, deductible na siya as expense. But for tax purposes, dili pa siya, at some point, dili pa siya ma-deductible sa imong taxable income pag walay payment. Okay? So, for tax purposes, dili pa siya uh, no, no, no. Ano pa siya? Kanang tawag ani? Ah, baliktad di. Baliktad siya, class. Uh, example ani is prepaid expenses. Okay? For prepaid expenses, class. Ang prepaid expenses that is collection in advance, di ba? I know, payment in advance, nagbayad ka una, before ni mo na incur ang expenses. For tax purposes, deductible na siya, na minus na siya as tax expense. But for accounting, dili pa siya deductible, kaya wala pa man ni mo na incur ang katong prepaid expenses. And with that, mas dako yun ang imuhang accounting income kaysa sa taxable income. Tama ba? Okay, tama. Kay mas gamay man ang imuhang expense sa accounting compared sa tax expense. And next is excess tax depreciation over accounting depreciation. So mag nag, mag differ siya sa iyahang depreciation. Kay ang gi-recognize do ni mo as depreciation in the income tax return or ang gi-declare ni mo nga uh, or ang ma-declare sa income tax return ni mo nga depreciation kay mas dako kumpara sa imuhang depreciation as per the income statement. So ano siya? Again, mas dako ang imuhang tax depreciation kaysa sa accounting depreciation or somehow we call this uh, class as excess tax depreciation. So, pag maingon ganyan siya, excess tax depreciation, nagpasabot, Ana, mas dako ang tax depreciation kaysa sa accounting depreciation. So, with this uh, items class, it will result into accounting income higher than taxable income. And therefore, deferred tax liability siya. Next, when will be the taxable income higher than the accounting income? Or it will result into a deferred tax asset. So, first item, revenues and gains are included in the taxable income of the current period but are included in the accounting income of the future period. Best example, Annie, is ang kanang deferred revenue na to or kanang mga pre-collections, gani. For tax purposes, cash basis man, di ba? Ang kanang 
pre-collection na kolekta na ni mo siya pero wala pa ni mo siya na earn. For accounting, since accrual basis man ta, dili pa na siya income. Tama? Ma-income lang na siya pag ma-earn na ni mo ang katong deferred revenue. But for tax purposes, kung kanusta ni mo siya gikolekta, okay? Kung kanusta ni mo siya na kolekta, dito ni mo siya i-recognize as taxable income. So, katong deferred revenue, ma-income na siya sa ma-income na siya sa taxable but not yet on the accounting income. Okay? For expenses and losses, these are deducted from the accounting income in uh, the current period but are not or but are deductible for tax purposes in the future period. Example, kaning mga accrued expenses na to. So, di ba, pag accrued expenses, uh, these are expenses that are already incurred but not yet paid. So, direct yung tamagbase for accounting purposes. So, pag na-incur na, na ni mo expense, automatic, ma-recognize na niyo siya as expense sa accounting. Pero, sa sa taxation, okay, sa taxation, dira pa siya ma-expense pag mabayaran na siya. So, say for example, in the future pa siya mabayaran, therefore, in the future pa po siya ma-claim as expenses. Okay, for tax purposes. And that will result into a higher taxable income compared sa accounting income. And last but not the least, excess accounting depreciation over tax depreciation. So, mas dako ang accounting depreciation kaysa sa tax depreciation. So, unlike kagani ha, pag accounting income higher than taxable income, mas dako ang tax depreciation kaysa sa accounting depreciation. So, baliktad lang. Okay? Next. So, recognition of deferred tax liability. So, if we have taxable, uh, future taxable differences, okay, katong mga taxable temporary differences, again, there will be a deferred tax liability. So, a deferred tax liability shall be recognized for all taxable temporary differences except for goodwill resulting from a business combination, initial recognition of asset and liability, undistributed profit of subsidiary, associate, or joint venture. So, tanang mga taxable temporary differences except for the this mentioned items shall be recognized with uh, a deferred tax liability. Next, recognition of deferred tax asset. So, of course, pag deferred tax asset, this will be recognized for all deductible temporary differences and operating loss carried forward when it is probable that taxable income will be available against which the deferred tax asset can be used. So, methods of accounting. So, how do we account the income tax? Okay, how do we identify the deferred tax asset and deferred tax liability? So, there are two approaches. We have income statement approach and the statement of financial position approach. So, of course, pag may tag income statement approach, the items that we will be using is katong mga naa sa income statement. So, more likely, the composition or the components of your net income. Okay? Well, statement of financial position approach, ang gamito na to will be the assets and the liabilities. Okay? Let's start with the income statement approach. So, the procedure will be, first is we will start with determining the taxable income. So, taxable income, after determining the taxable income, okay? So, so na ito pag kuha sa taxable income? Of course, we will start with the accounting Income. So, katong accounting income, momento ang income no, no nga nag-reflect sa ato ang income statement. So, how to determine the taxable income? We'll just convert the accounting income to uh, the to a taxable income. So, saan man, we will consider the differences. Permanent at saka mga temporary differences. And once na-determine na ang taxable income, mo na ato ang basis for the current tax expense. Okay? Again, 
current tax expense. Natin ginatawag nga current tax expense, napunta ginatawag nga deferred tax expense. Okay? Kanang deferred tax expense mo na itong derived from your temporary differences. Well, kanang current tax expense that is derived from your taxable income. Natay tulo ka buok diri as mga class na uh, tulo ka klase nga tax expense. Current tax expense, deferred tax expense, at saka total tax expense. Okay? So, so may basis sa current tax expense. The basis of the current tax expense is the taxable income. The basis of the deferred tax expense kay katong mga temporary differences. And the basis of the total tax expense is your accounting income subject to tax. Okay? Again, accounting income subject to tax. How do we get the accounting income subject to tax? Of course, we will start with the accounting income and then exclude all the permanent differences. Kaya ka ng permanent differences, those are items that are not subject to tax. Again, accounting income excluding the permanent differences. Okay? So, mo na siya ang total tax expense. But for this one, taxable income, the taxable income will be multiplied by the tax rate. And that would equal to the current tax expense. And that current tax expense, mo na karon ang entry nato will be debit income tax payable and credit income ah debit income tax expense and credit income tax payable. So if you notice, ang ato ang debit is debit account is the income tax expense, and ato ang credit account is the income tax payable account because Okay, kay ka na siya nga expense or tax expense mo na imuhang bayaran for the current year. That's why we credited to income tax payable. But for the deferred tax expense, ang dapat nga amount or uh, ang dapat nga account nga itong i-credit or i-debit should be the deferred tax liability or a deferred tax asset. Basta deferred tax expense. Okay, so again, when you say current tax expense, this is the amount of income tax paid or payable for a year as determined by applying the provisions of the enacted tax law to the taxable income. Next, step two, determine the taxable temporary difference. So, the amount of the uh, this one is taxable class, ha? The amount of taxable temporary difference is multiplied by the tax rate and will equal to deferred tax liability. Okay? Kindly correct? Okay? Correct. I-rephrase lang nato ha? The amount of taxable temporary differences multiplied by the tax rates equals the defer deferred tax liability. So, entry ani, pag ma-determine mo ang deferred tax uh, Liability entry will be debit to income tax expense, credit deferred tax asset, at deferred tax liability. So again, uh, always ang atong expense account is the income tax expense. Magmatter lang siya sa imo ang asset or liability account. Kaya kung current tax expense siya, your liability account is income tax payable. While pag uh, deferred tax expenses siya, ang imuhang, ang imuhang asset account or liability account will be deferred tax liability for a taxable temporary difference. For a deductible temporary difference, ang imuhang uh, asset account will be deferred tax asset. And pag once deferred tax asset, debit siya. Okay? Debit siya. Now, uh, ang credit nato is income tax benefit. Now, it, don't be confused since uh, pwede po nato siya gamitan o income tax expense na lang para isa na lang account. But uh, pwede po siya, we use a separate account which is the income tax benefit. Well, anyway, income tax benefit is a reduction na manggihapon sa income tax expense nga account. 
So, pwede na gahapon siya. You, can, you may use income tax benefit or uh, income tax expense on your credit side. Okay? So, that is for the step 3. And last step is the total income tax expense. For the year is the current tax expense plus the deferred tax expense arising from taxable differences, taxable temporary differences, minus the income tax benefit arising from deductible temporary differences. Okay? So, mo na siya imuhang total income tax expense. Well, actually, again, as I've mentioned earlier, the total income tax expense is just uh, based on your accounting income subject to tax. Okay? Accounting income excluding all the permanent differences. Okay. Let's try the illustration. So, in 2020, an entity reported in accounting income a gross profit of installment sales of 1 million but not in taxable income. Okay? Uh, ang naitabo, for accounting purposes, maski pag kanusa na siya makolekta, income na dahi na siya kung kanusa din mo siya ma-earn or kanusa siya nabaligya. But for tax purposes, dira pa na siya i-recognize as income pag nakolekta na. Okay. So, this temporary difference is expected to be reported in taxable income equally in 2021 and 2022. So, maybe it will be collected equally on 2021 and 2022 by 500 each. Okay? 500 each. The income tax rate is 30%. So, these are the reported accounting and taxable income. For 2020, 4 million yung accounting income and 3 million yung taxable income. With a difference, okay, na sila difference ng 1 million. So, katong 1 million, that is due to the installment sales na recognized na sa accounting but not yet on taxable. For 2021, accounting income is 5 million while the taxable income is 5.5 million. Anong sa man ay difference nila? The difference is 500,000. Asa man ka ng 500,000? Katong nasa second paragraph, wherein katong 1 million daw sa so 2020, this will be expected to be reported as part of the taxable income equally in 2021 and 2022. So, na-distribute siya ang katong 1 million sa 2021 o sa 2022. So, 500 each sa kada 2 egg. So, mo nang tag 500,000 ang ilahang difference. Okay? Now, since the temporary difference is sold to a higher accounting income in 2020, there is a deferred tax liability. So, sa 2020, ano siya? Taxable temporary difference. Why? It's because mas dako ang accounting income kaysa sa taxable income. So, ano siya? Deferred tax liability. For 2021 and 2022, even though, okay, mas dako ang taxable income nila compared sa accounting income, it doesn't mean that there is a deferred tax asset here. Ano man? Because ang kaning pagdako or ang pagtaas sa taxable income compared sa accounting income results from the reversal. Okay? Reversal of the temporary difference arising from the year 2020. So, wala siya nagpasabot niya. Separate ano siya, separate scenarios here. Kaning, kaning sila, kaning differences sa 2021 and 2022, these are reversal. Okay? Reversal of the deferred tax liability sa katong 2020. So, ang naitabo lang diri a, ah, dili tamang recognize of deferred tax asset. Since reversal lang man eh, sa deferred tax liability, so we'll just reverse the account deferred tax liability pag sa 2021 and 20. 22. Okay. So, here's the entry for 2020. So, first entry is uh, the current tax expense. To record the current tax expense, 
the taxable income is 3 million while the tax rate is 30 percent therefore the current tax expense is 900,000 so entry na to debit income tax expense and credit income tax payable for 900,000 second entry is to record the deferred tax liability coming from our taxable temporary difference and the taxable temporary difference is 1 million so 1 million times 30 percent that is 300,000 so entry debit income tax expense and credit deferred tax liability 300,000 okay now uh, to get the total tax expense okay diba? the formula for the total tax expense that is current tax expense plus deferred tax expense arising from taxable temporary difference minus the deferred tax uh, income tax benefit arising from the deductible temporary difference. So here, na atay current tax expense, 900,000, i-add na to ang, ang deferred tax liability, 300,000 for a total of 1.2 million. So the total tax expense is 1.2 million. Or another way is by uh, using the accounting income. Uh, accounting income is 4 million. And assuming that there are no permanent differences, therefore all this accounting income of 4 million are subject to tax. So 4 million times 30%, that is 1.2 million. That is your total tax expense. Okay. Now, in your uh, no, uh, before we proceed to the next year, 2021, what do you think will happen on the deferred tax liability in the subsequent periods? Okay. The answer will be, it will be reversed. Okay, ma-reverse ni siya pag sa 2021 at saka 2022. Now, let's proceed with the uh, 2021. Okay, so this one is the uh, net income. So, pila man ng net income na to, that will be income before tax, 4 million, less the total income tax expense, uh, 1.2 million. So, ito ang net income is... Uh, 2.8 million. Okay? So, na, mana siya. Still, the, the way of getting the net income nato will also include the deferred tax expense. So, dili lang kay ang current tax expense ato ang gamiton. Kung dili ang total income tax expense. So, here is for the 2021. So, to record the current tax expense, the taxable income for 2021 is 5.5 million. So 30% ani is 1,650,000. So entry nato debit income tax expense and credit income tax payable. And to record the reversal of the deferred tax liability, okay, take note since reversal man siya, so we need not to uh, record a separate temporary difference or a separate deferred tax asset ato lang buhaton is i-decrease lang nato okay decrease the deferred tax liability so debit deferred tax liability and credit income tax expense on the amount of difference based on the amount of the tax the difference class so 500,000 man to difference no times 30 so that is 150,000. So for the income statement for the year 2021, that would be okay. Income before income tax, 5 million, and the income tax expense will be the total income tax expense is 1.5 million. Why 1.5 million? We started with the current tax expense. Now, why is it the 150000 relative to the deferred tax liability is deducted? It's because decrease man siya. Diba? Take note, there was a decrease in the deferred tax liability. So, pag decrease siya class, opposite siya. Or meaning to say, i-minus ni mo siya sa total tax expense. Okay, burag mahulog siya ba nga income tax benefit 
same siya og treatment sa income tax benefit. On the other hand, pag deferred tax asset po siya, and di ba, pag deferred tax asset, i-minus man siya sa total tax expense, no? Pero kung decrease sa deferred tax asset, opposite po siya, or i-reverse po siya. So, instead nga i-minus ni mo ang decrease in deferred tax asset, i-add ni mo siya sa current tax expense to get the total income tax expense. Okay? So, the net income is 3.5 million. Last but not the least, uh, journal entries in 2022. So, current income tax expense is based on the 7.5 million na taxable income. So, times 30%, that is 2 million 250,000. So, entry, debit income tax expense for 2 million 250,000. And credit income tax payable two million two hundred fifty thousand. And to record the decrease in the deferred tax liability, debit deferred tax liability and credit income tax expense. And again, the same scenario on the year twenty twenty one. There was a reversal of the deferred tax liability. And in such case. On the year 2022, na fully reverse na akatoy mo deferred tax liability sa year 2021. At the end of 2022, the balance of your deferred tax liability will become zero. Okay, again, it was fully reversed. Okay, the taxable temporary difference last 2020 was fully reversed for the year 2022. So, net income for the year 2022, that would be... Okay, decrease lang gihapon no ang deferred tax liability so i minus siya sa current tax expense to get the total tax expense. So, your net income is 4,900,000. Okay. So that is for the deferred tax liability. So here, let's have uh, for the deferred tax asset so, here, uh, sa 2020, mas dako iyahang taxable income kaysa sa accounting income subject to tax. And therefore, it will result into a tax uh, deductible temporary difference, thus na atay deferred tax asset. Okay? So, accounting income is 5 million, taxable income is 5.6 million for the year 2020. So, kani daw siyang difference sa 600,000 will be reported in the accounting, okay, as per accounting class, sa 2021 lang. Okay, so, ma-reverse siya sa 2021. That's why accounting income sa 2021 becomes higher than the taxable income. And again, even though that the accounting income here is higher than the taxable income, it will not result into a deferred tax liability. Instead, reversal lang sa deferred tax asset. Okay? So, same uh, situation lagi happen, no? Same procedure. You compute for the current tax expense and the deferred tax asset. Okay? So, kana siya. How did we get the deferred tax asset? The difference is 600,000 times 30%. So we have 180,000. Total tax expense for this year is based on the accounting income subject to tax. The accounting income is 5 million times 30%. So we have 1.5 million. For the current tax expense, that is based on the taxable income. So 5, 6 times 30%, that is... 1,680,000. So, this is how we get the um, net income. But for this case, we use income tax benefit as our credit. But again, as I've mentioned earlier, pwede ra isa lang ka account atong gamiton, which is the income tax expense. And of course, the effect of this will be decrease siya sa income tax or reduction siya sa imuhang income tax expense. So, when we compute the net income, again, income tax benefit as ano, 
form as the formula for the total tax expense that will be a deduction from the current tax expense ang imuhang income tax benefit Okay, pag sa 2021, the same procedure will have the current tax expense based on the taxable income. 6,400,000 uh, 6, times 30%, that is 1,920,000. And uh, the reversal of the deductible temporary difference will decrease the deferred tax asset. So, 600,000 no, times uh, 30%. There is a decrease by 180,000. So we will use income tax expense or the income tax benefit and credit deferred tax asset. So in effect, in getting the uh, net income, kabalik taran pud no, kung ang deferred tax asset generally, okay, or the income tax benefit will decrease the current tax expense to compute for the total income tax expense pag na ay decrease in the deferred tax asset addition siya okay dugang siya sa imuhang or i-add siya sa imuhang current tax expense in getting the total tax expense so therefore the total tax expense is 2.1 million thus the net income is 4.9 million Okay, so this one is illustration, combination of deferred tax liability and deferred tax asset. Okay, so kuan na, na yung mga, na na yung mga taxable temporary difference o deductible temporary difference. Okay? So here's the problem. An entity reported the following for the year ended December 31, 2020. So, accounting income per book, or shall I say the accounting income, 6 million, non deductible expenses, 500,000, and non taxable uh, revenue is 300,000. So, say we pass about non deductible and uh, non taxable. So, these are, this is what we call permanent differences. So, money sila mga permanent differences. Okay. Kaning non-deductible, these are uh, for tax purposes, it will not be uh, claimed as deductible expense. Pero sa accounting, expense siya. But for tax purposes, dili. Non-taxable revenue, so income siya sa accounting, pero dili siya taxable. So, these are permanent differences. Doubtful accounts, 200,000. So, sa maning doubtful accounts. Sa accounting, we can recognize uh, doubtful accounts when the accounts are becomes doubtful. Even if dili pa yun siya certain, nga dili na siya ma-collecta. But for tax purposes, dili siya nag recognize at some point o mga doubtful accounts. Uh, we will only recognize uh, uncollectable accounts if it is really certain nga dili na yun siya ma Ano, di na good siya, tawag, ano yung ma, makolekta. So, kaning doubtful accounts, this is considered as uh, deductible temporary difference. Okay? So, ano? Ano siya, dahil baliktad class? These are taxable temporary... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Baliktad. Ah, tama. Deductible temporary difference. Okay? Uh, in the future pa siya pwede madedak as ano expense for tax purposes so again deductible siya no deductible temporary difference ang kaning doubtful accounts next estimated warranty cost that had been recognized as expense in 2020 when the product sales were made but is deductible for tax purposes when Paid. So, still, this estimated warranty cost is considered as deductible temporary difference. Okay, kay dararaman daw siya ma-expense pag, ano, kana, pag naanay payment. So, pag wala pa payment, dili pa siya deductible. So, in the future pa man siya ma-deductible, so deductible temporary difference. Accounting depreciation and tax depreciation. 
So, we will compare it. Mas dako ang taxable or tax depreciation kaysa sa accounting depreciation. Therefore, naatay excess tax depreciation. And excess tax depreciation is a taxable temporary difference. Next, gross income on installment sales include in accounting income but taxable only in 2021, 100,000. So this one is an example of taxable temporary difference. So natay upat ka buok nga temporary differences, duha ka deductible, duha pod ka taxable differences. Okay? Ang deductible na to, kay kay doubtful accounts and estimated warranty for a total of 600,000. So this will result into a deferred tax asset. On the other hand, ang mga taxable, we have the excess depreciation nga 200,000. Take note ang ato lang i-consider aniha kay ang difference or ang excess niya. So ang excess tax depreciation is 200,000 and a uh, gross income on installment sales nga 100,000 for a total of 300,000 nga taxable temporary difference. Again, Ang deductible temporary difference is 600,000 while ang taxable temporary difference is 300,000. Income tax rate is 30%. So here's the computation. So we start with the accounting income per book, 600,000. And then exclude all the permanent differences. So, permanent differences, we have non-deductible expense and non-taxable expense. So, for non-deductible expense, i-add back na to siya sa accounting income because in getting the accounting income, gideduct na siya, kay expense na siya. Pero since non-deductible man siya, dapat ibalik na to siya. So, plus 500,000 nga non-deductible expense, add non-tax, ano, uh, uh, minus non-taxable revenue. So, ang ato ang accounting income subject to tax is 6,200,000. Again, after considering the permanent differences, the accounting income subject to tax is 6,200,000. Now, we will proceed with the temporary differences. So, how do we treat the deductible temporary differences? So, ang temp deductible temporary differences should be added added back sa accounting income subject to tax if we will get the taxable income. Take note atong objective karon is to get the taxable income. Kaya di ba, ang kaning mga expenses, kaning mga deductible temporary expenses, these are deducted already as an expense in getting the accounting income. But, dili pa siya pwede sa taxable income. So, how to adjust I-add back na to sila. Okay? I-add back kaning mga deductible temporary differences. On the other hand, taxable temporary differences should be deducted. Nga naman. Because these taxable temporary differences are already included in the accounting income. Na income na siya, but not yet. Okay? Dili pa siya pwede appeal sa taxable income. So, i-minus na to sila. Ang mga taxable temporary differences. Now, after considering the temporary differences, the taxable income is 6.5 million. So, 6.5 million ang ato ang taxable temporary differences. Now, we will compute for the current tax expense, the deferred tax asset, and the deferred tax liability. The current tax expense will be based on this taxable income, 6.5 million. Okay? While ang ato ang deferred tax asset will be based on this deductible temporary differences. And deferred tax liability will be based on this taxable temporary differences. Okay. So, again, permanent differences do not give rise to any deferred tax asset and deferred tax liability. Okay, so the income tax expense for the current, okay, current portion, taxable income times 30% tax rate. So, our current tax expense is 
950,000. So entry ani debit, income tax expense and credit, income tax payable. So 1950. To record the deferred tax asset, the the total deductible temporary difference is 600,000 times 30. So therefore, the deferred tax asset is one hundred eighty thousand. So entry to record debit, deferred tax asset, and credit income tax benefit one hundred eighty thousand. To record the deferred tax liability, the total taxable temporary difference is three hundred thousand times thirty percent. The deferred tax liability is ninety thousand. So entry. Debit income tax expense for ninety thousand and credit deferred tax liability ninety thousand. So since this is deferred tax liability, we used income tax expense earlier. For the deferred tax asset, we used income tax benefit. So to compute for the net income, so this is the income before income tax. This is the accounting income. Okay, money ang accounting income no, six million minus the total income tax expense. So the total income tax expense is computed as current tax expense ng one nine fifty based on the taxable income, less the income tax benefit based on the deferred tax asset, plus the deferred tax expense based on the deferred tax liability. For a total of one million eight hundred sixty thousand, so mo na to i minus atong accounting income. Therefore, we have net income of four million one hundred forty thousand. Another way to compute for the total income tax expense is by using the accounting income subject to tax. That is six million two hundred thousand, de ba? As we computed. This is our accounting income subject to tax, six million two hundred thousand times thirty percent. That is your total income tax expense, na one million eight hundred sixty thousand. The same lang na sila og result. Okay, so that is for the income statement approach. So net deferred tax expense or benefit will just be the difference between the change in the deferred tax asset and change in the deferred tax liability. So kung pila to imuhang deferred tax asset, okay, ang katung interest income tax expense in relation to the deferred tax asset, deferred tax liability, and the income tax benefit in relation to your deferred tax asset. The difference on that will be the net deferred tax expense or benefit. So if mas dako ang income tax benefit, then that is net deferred tax benefit. Kung mas dako ang income tax expense or the deferred tax expense, that is net deferred tax expense. Current tax liability, moto siya no, ang current tax liability, that is the income tax payable. Okay? So ang katong current tax expense, Liability is based on your current tax expense. So the account that we are using is the income tax payable. Okay, a current tax liability or current tax asset shall be measured using the tax rate that has been enacted and effective at the end of the reporting period. So the question is, unsang nga income tax rate? Like say, for example, daghan ang given din tua ng income tax rate. So, ang gamito nato for the current tax liability will be the current or the current enacted tax rate at the end of the current year. For the deferred tax asset and liability, what will be the tax rate? Okay, alam mo. Measurement. Okay, a deferred tax liability or a deferred tax asset shall be measured using the tax rate. That has been enacted by the end of the reporting period and expected to apply to the period when the asset is realized or 
liability is settled. So, say pasabot ani. Like, say for example, na kay, for the current year, the enacted rate is 30%, then na kay recognize nga deferred tax liability ana. And that deferred tax li liability will be re reversed. Reversed after two years when the enacted rate on that is or will become 40 percent. So, ang pangutana, pila may measurements sa imong deferred tax liability. What rate are you going to use? Is it 30 percent ang, ang rate sa current year? Or the rate kung kanus ang ma-reverse ang katong deferred tax liability which is 40 percent? The answer is 40 percent. Okay? We will be using the tax rate sa period kung kanus asya ma-realize or ma- reverse. So, that's the rate nga to ang gamiton. 40%. The future rate plus not the current rate. Current rate atong gamiton if we are getting the current tax expense or the income tax payable. Pero pag deferred tax liability or asset, we will be using the future rate. Okay? So, that's it. So now let's proceed with the statement of financial position approach. So here's the procedures for using uh, this approach. So again, uh, as I've mentioned uh, before, that statement of financial position approach, uh, we will be using the assets and uh, liabilities. So on sama na to ang i-compare ani. So, to get whether there is a taxable temporary difference or a deductible temporary difference, so we have to compare the carrying amount and the tax base of the assets and the liabilities. Okay? So, first uh, step for this procedure is determine the tax base of the assets and the liabilities in the statement of financial position. And then compare the carrying amounts with the tax base. So, mo na to siya. Dito na to maaibalan. If ano ba siya, kanang taxable, uh, I mean, taxable ba siya or deductible temporary difference. Okay. So, review ta. There is a taxable temporary difference for asset if uh, the carrying amount is higher than the tax base. For liabilities, the tax base is higher than the carrying amount. On the other hand, uh, it is a deductible temporary difference if uh, the, the tax base of the asset is higher than the carrying amount. And the carrying amount of the liability is higher than the tax base. Okay. So the difference between the carrying amount and the tax base normally will result into a deferred tax asset or liability. Permanent differences, again, do not give rise to de deferred uh, tax asset or liability. Then, whatever the differences, katong mga temporary differences na to class, or differences, except the permanent differences, we will apply the tax rate. Okay? So, i-multiply lang nato tong uh, difference niya, temporary difference by the tax rate. Now, determine the beginning and ending balance of deferred tax asset or liability. And recognize the net change between the beginning and ending balance of the deferred tax asset or liability. Now, the fifth step or kaning number five class, ang result ani, okay? Ang result ani will become the ending balance of your deferred tax asset or deferred tax liability. Diba? Ang, ang rate ani kay i-multiply nato sa temporary difference nga uh, that will result from the, the difference between the carrying amount and the tax base. So, whatever the difference of the carrying amount and tax base of your asset or liability will be multiplied with the tax rate. So, kung sa mga ganitong product niya, that will be the ending balance of either deferred tax asset or liability. So, this is the, this is the difference between the statement of financial position and uh, income statement approach. Kaysa income statement approach, katong given, okay, katong given na mga temporary at saka deductible 
uh, deductible uh, tempora no taxable and deductible temporary differences if we multiply it by the tax rate mauto ang iyahang uh, tax expense okay that will be the tax expense or the result will become the tax expense diretso na siya report sa uh, income statement but here sa statement of financial position approach ang ma-derive nato nga product if we multiply the tax rate by the difference between the carrying amount and the tax base will be the ending balance okay the ending balance of the deferred tax asset or liability and not yet the tax expense now how do we get the tax expense here so the tax expense or the tax benefit will be the difference between the beginning and ending balances of your deferred tax asset or liability again the income tax expense or benefit is the difference between the beginning and ending balance of your deferred tax asset or liability so whatever the change in the beginning and ending uh, we, will, we will recognize the net change between the beginning and ending balance of your deferred tax asset or liability as the income tax expense or benefit. Okay? Again, sa income statement approach, ang makuha na to dito, the product that we will be uh, getting will be directly the income tax expense. But here, sa statement of financial position approach, ang makuha pa na to is the ending balance the change in the beginning and ending balance will be the income tax expense or uh, benefit okay so let's try so this is a comprehensive illustration on december 31 2020 the accounts of easy company have the same basis for accounting and tax uh, purposes except for the following items for computer software, ang iyahang carrying amount is 4 million, while the tax base is 0. So, na ay difference nga 4 million. Building, ang iyahang carrying amount is 47 million 500 versus ang tax base na 45 uh, million, 2.5 million nga difference. So, both items, uh, asset man sila, no? And based on the comparison nato mas dako ang ilahang carrying amount kumpara sa tax base so therefore the differences here will be considered as taxable temporary difference okay so it will result into a deferred tax liability so total taxable temporary difference is 6.5 million thus if we multiply this one by the tax rate na 30% the ending balance of the deferred tax liability is 1,950,000. Now, how much will be the income tax expense here? So, we'll just compare this one, the ending balance, 1,950,000 by the beginning balance. But here, in this case, wala tay beginning. Assuming that the beginning balance of the deferred tax liability is zero, therefore, there is an increase. Okay, increase in deferred tax liability by 1,950,000. 1, uh, 1, and since increase man siya, increase in deferred tax liability is an income tax expense. Okay, income tax expense. So, again, as a reminder, no? Deferred tax liability that is uh, that will uh, arise from a taxable temporary difference. So many among situations that will result into a taxable temporary difference, and deferred tax asset. So journal entry natin will be uh, first is to record. Okay, ang same lang yahapon class. Ang ato ang i-record are the following. Uh, the current tax expense, okay, the current tax expense, and the uh, deferred tax asset and deferred tax liability. So, ang current tax expense will be, again, as I've mentioned, 
will be the change of the beginning and ending balance of your deferred tax asset and liability. So, ang ending a deferred tax liability is 1950, but the beginning is zero. So, therefore, there is an increase in deferred tax liability. And beside increase in deferred tax liability, that is an income tax expense. Ah, okay. Ay, this one pala is ano, deferred tax liability na. Okay, dili na ni siya current tax expense. Kaya ang current tax expense is mag-base gihapon siya sa taxable income. So, kani siya nga uh, entry is to record the increase in deferred tax liability in the amount of 1,950. So, entry, debit, income tax expense, 1,950, and credit, deferred tax liability, 1,950. So, computation of the taxable income, assuming that uh, if the pre-tax accounting income for 2020 is 10 million, okay, assumption is uh, 10 million daw ang accounting income, the taxable income is computed as, so, uh, pre-tax accounting income 10 million, and then uh, deduct the taxable temporary differences, computer software, uh, entirely expense in 2020. So, ano siya, ang nahita book class, for tax purposes, one time, ano siya, one time, uh, tag ano eh, one time uh, expense siya, okay, or expense outright siya for tax purposes. So, dapat, 5 million lang, ang imu 5 million diretsyo ang imuhang expense. But for accounting purposes, since computer software cost is capitalized, at the time when I incur ni mo siya, that computer uh, software cost will be amortized over the useful life niya. So, ang yang useful life is 5 years. So, that naatay, annual amortization nga 1 million. So, in getting the accounting income, ang expense lang nato in relation to the computer software is only 1 million for the year 2020. But for tax purposes, 5 million dapat imuhang expense. So, to get the taxable income, dapat dungaga nato ang expense nato by 4 million. Again, ang nahita bo, sa accounting, 1 million lang yung expense. But for tax purposes, dapat 5 million. So, di ba, ang ato ang objective is to get the taxable income. So, to get the taxable income, dungaga nato ang expense, okay, which is 4 million. Then, excess tax depreciation. So, mas dako ang tax depreciation kaysa sa accounting depreciation. So, that is 2,500,000. So, taxable income is 3,500,000. Therefore, the current tax expense times 30% is 1,050,000. So, entry for, to record the current tax expense, we have debit income tax expense, 1,050,000. And credit, income tax payable, 1,050,000. So, with this, how much is the current tax expense? So, ang current tax expense natin will be 1,050,000 plus the deferred tax liability nga 1,950,000 for a total of 3 million. Is it correct? 3 million na? Or... How do we get shortcut to get the total income tax expense? That is, your pre-tax accounting income, which is assuming that these are all subject to tax, times 30% nga tax rate. So, that is 3 million. So, this is, again, the total tax expense minus siya sa uh, income, accounting income nga 10 million. Therefore, the net income is 7 million. So, this is the in net income for the year 2020. On the following year, pagka year 2021 daw, so, mo na niya siyang nahitabo sa statement of financial position, nagihapon ang computer software, building, and then there's an additional here, the accrued liability. As to its carrying amount, different gihapon siya sa tax base. So, ang carrying amount for the computer software is 3 million, while the tax base is zero. Okay? Why zero? It's because 
Again, ang computer software, dili siya i-capitalize. Expense siya immediately. So, there must be no amount or no value on your computer software that will be reported in the asset. Next, building. 45 million ang iyahang caring amount, while tax base is 40 million. So, na difference nga, 5 million. So, still, computer software and uh, building is ano, taxable temporary difference. But for this liability, accrued liability, mas dako man ang caring amount kaysa sa tax base. So, na siya difference nga 2 million. And this one is an example of a deductible temporary difference. So, there will be, again, uh, it will result into a deferred tax asset. Kaning duha, deferred tax liability. Okay? So, here's the computation. How much will be, again, the ending balance? So, whatever the differences nga to compute and it will represent the ending balance. So, total taxable temporary difference is 8 million. I multiply nato sa 30%, the result is 2.4 million. So, this 2.4 million is your ending balance. Okay? Ending balance ni siya. Now, if this is the ending balance, the beginning balance for the year 2020 was the uh, ending balance, ano, the beginning balance for the year 2021 is the ending balance of last year's uh, 2020. 20. Okay? So, ano siya? Uh, 1,950. So, from 1,950, nahim mo siyang 2,400,000. 2, so, therefore, na ay increase in the deferred tax liability nga 450,000. So, since increase man siya in deferred tax liability, so there is an income tax expense. Next, for the accrued liability, uh, health care, okay, so there is a difference of 2 million. So again, this will result into a deferred tax asset. So whatever the product, I multiply it to 30%, that is 600,000. This will be the ending balance of the deferred tax asset. So since wala pa man tayo beginning ane, so the change in the deferred tax asset is 600,000. So there is an increase in the deferred tax asset. So if there's an increase in the deferred tax asset, that is considered as an income tax benefit. Okay? So we have here, the increase in deferred tax liability is an income tax expense, while the increase in deferred tax asset is an income tax benefit. So what will happen next? So to record this, to record the increase in the deferred tax liability, so entry nato, debit income tax expense, 450,000, credit deferred tax liability, 450,000. To record the deferred tax asset, debit deferred tax asset, 600,000, and credit deferred tax benefit, 600,000. So, computation of taxable income for 2021, assuming that the taxable or the income, accounting income for 2021 is 15 million. So, we will convert, convert the accounting income of 15 million into a taxable income. So, pre-tax accounting income 15 million add the reversal of amortization of software cost. Uh, what happened to this? In getting the accounting income, you recognize an amortization of the computer software as per accounting. But for tax purposes, wala kay dapat amortization. So since expense man siya, no, the expense ni mo siya sa accounting. So to get the taxable income, i-add back ni mo ang katong amortization. Kay again, for taxable income, dili naman ka dapat mag amortization. Then excess tax depreciation gihapon, no? This is still a uh, taxable temporary difference. 2,500,000. Kaning 1 million, uh, even though that it was added, 
to the accounting income, it doesn't mean nga ano na siya, uh, deductible temporary difference na siya, but still, this is part of the, or this is still in relation to the taxable temporary difference of the computer software. Galing lang, nanata sa reversal. Okay? Reversal na ni siya. Mao nang gi-add siya ang 1 million. Then for the healthcare, katong accrued liability, uh, a deductible temporary difference. So gi-add na to siya. Okay, gi-add na to siya sa accounting income 2 million. Therefore, the taxable income is 15 million 500,000. So from this, i multiply na to ang 30%, we have a result of 4 million 650,000 which is our current tax expense. So to record the current tax expense, debit income tax expense and credit income tax payable, 4,650,000. So for the net income, this is how we get income before tax or the accounting income na 15 million less the total income tax expense. So how did we get the total income tax expense? We have the current tax expense, as we computed earlier, 4,650,000. Add the increase in deferred tax expense. Take note nata increase sa deferred tax liability. So add siya sa ito ang uh, total tax expense, 450,000. An increase in the deferred tax asset is a deduction from the current tax expense. So, minus ang 600,000. So, therefore, the total uh, income tax expense is 4,500,000. So, our net income is 10,500,000. So, since kanin kuan, assuming that all 15, 000, uh, 15 million, wala siya permanent na differences, we just multiply the 15 million by the 30%. That is your total income tax expense, which is 4.5 million. Now, to get the net deferred tax benefit or net deferred tax expense, e compare lang nato ang deferred tax expense o income tax benefit. So we have 450 less 600,000. So we have a difference of 150,000. And since mas dako ang, this is not expense class, rather it is benefit. So since mas dako man ang benefit kaysa sa expense, so we will, call, we will call this as net deferred tax benefit. Okay? So that's it. So that's all for the accounting for income tax. So in my next video, I will just show to you some problems, okay, with the corresponding solutions. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.